Let's do implicit differentiation on this equation that I found online. x times e to the power of y equals x minus y. Now, in order to take the derivative of the left-hand side, you have to identify that x itself is a function, and e to the y is another function. They're multiplied by each other, so you're going to need product rule to do that. I'm going to do that first, and then we'll come back to the other side here, okay? Product rule is derivative of the first thing, derivative of x is actually just 1, times the second thing as is, added to, and then you take the first thing as is times the derivative of the second thing. Now the derivative of e to the power of any function is that same thing, that's e to the y again then, but if the thing in the exponent isn't just x, then there is an extra term that's multiplied here, that's what chain rule is all about. The derivative of that exponent, y, is y prime. That's the implicit differentiation part of this. Your teacher may prefer dy by dx instead of y prime, but those are just two different ways to write the same thing. On the right-hand side, we have a minus sign, so these are two separate terms. We can differentiate them each separately. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is simply y prime. Cool. Well, there you go. That's technically doing implicit differentiation. But with an equation where you have an equal sign, your teacher probably wants you to isolate dy by dx or y prime as well. Just to, you know, be like, yeah, here's the equation for the derivative, right? Now, in order to do that, I'm just going to simplify this side of the equation here. I've got e to the y plus x e to the y times a y prime, and this is 1 minus y prime as is. I like that. Now, my strategy for doing this is usually to collect all the terms that have y prime in them on one side, and everything else goes to the other side. Um, I'm going to put my y prime stuff on the left. So I'm going to keep my x e to the y y prime here, and this minus y prime from the right is going to come over, and I'm going to add it on the other side. Now, the 1 stays on the right, and the e to the y needs to move to the other side, so it becomes minus e to the y. Great. Now, the reason I like putting my y primes all on the same side is often I find I can factor it out of those terms. Both of these have y prime in them, so I'm going to factor y prime out, what do I get when I factor it out of this first term? Well, I get x times e to the y. What do I get when I factor it out of here? I get plus 1. And then this side is still 1 minus e to the y. Great. And then, because this is factored out, this is multiplication, how do I undo multiplying by whatever this is? The answer is divided out on the other side. So y prime isolated is 1 minus e to the y all divided by x times e to the y plus 1. Wow, just beautiful. The derivative of this curve happens to be this. Now, there are still y's in it, so it's still some kind of wild-looking curve, but the point is you were able to isolate for the derivative, and maybe you can, you know, solve for where that ends up being 0. Ah, uh, spoiler alert, you can't, but whatever. That's not what you're here for. You came for the implicit differentiation. I gave it to you. You love it. Best of luck.